definitely nice to talk to you. It's crazy to see what's been happening with the Dogecoin community, how much love you've been getting, how much appreciation. Mm-hmm. It's awesome to see all of that come together around you. Yeah, it's it's been it's been cool. Um, you know, thankfully I knew I remember back when my dad's team had uh, Dogecoin on on the car in 2014. So I um I've known how you know, how far reaching and how supportive the whole Dogecoin community is. So it's been awesome to have, uh, to be able to kind of tap into that and have that same community um, around us this, this, this year. Yeah. A lot of people probably Mm -hmm. think that it was just kind of a random sponsorship that you didn't really know what was going on, but you have an entire history with Dogecoin and your family. So you knew about this, you played a role, maybe talk a little bit about that. Tell the people in the community kind of how that came together. Yeah, so um, obviously in 2014, um, my dad had a, a NASCAR Cup Series team with uh, with Josh Wise was the driver, and I remember we were we were running a race at Bristol. We didn't have any sponsorship, and uh, we were running really well. We actually uh, were running outrunning the leader for uh, had 40 or 50 laps, and um, somebody on actually on the NASCAR uh, on Reddit community noticed that and um, started sort of a crowdfunding deal kind of uh, rallied around us. And I remember, I remember back then Dogecoin, like you would, if you were on Reddit, right, you would tip somebody Dogecoin with a funny comment or something like that. So um, we ended up doing the, the, the fundraiser, the crowdfunding deal through that, um, through, through Dogecoin and uh, actually raised enough to do a, a sponsorship at Talladega and even even beyond that, we had the car on on the uh, we had Dogecoin on the car at the All Star race, and the Dogecoin community, the Reddit community, actually voted us into the All Star race. We won the fan vote, which was such a big deal. It was so huge for our team and so groundbreaking for for our sport. So that was my history with it. And um, we were so I ran the Xfinity race at Daytona earlier this year, and one of my sponsors, uh, Spring, Sean Taylor, who owns Spring Rates, um, was talking to me after the race with, about how he's, uh, how he's been into learning more about cryptocurrency, been learning more about Dogecoin. And uh, he said, man, it'd be so cool if we could just, if we could kind of, um, if we could put Dogecoin in the car and, and, and outreach that community and, and bring more awareness to, to Dogecoin. And I was like, well, it's funny. He didn't, he didn't know that that I had had a family history with Dogecoin. So it was funny how it all worked out. And, and um, it was really cool. We, I, we actually got to talk to, we talked to the founder of Dogecoin about doing it. And uh, it just, the support that we had from the entire Dogecoin community was unreal. I mean, it's been so cool and, and so, uh, so gratifying just to see the support even now, um, almost three weeks later, that still uh, I'm getting tweets and messages about, the doge co- doge coin and doge car and we're going to run it again so it's 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 awesome now, billy marcus is one of my favorite people in the world he's definitely mm-hmm. a lot of fun to talk to and it's crazy to think how much spring race has been able to do this so fast with getting that on the car and, and organizing it so definitely a huge shout out to spring rates they are doing a fantastic job with, with everything that's going on here another question i had for you so how long will the sponsorship last for is it going to be a long time is it kind of more of a short-term thing what's the deal with that uh, we would love for it to be a long, a long-term thing. Right now, our our next scheduled race, um, I'm running a few races within the next couple of months, but our next scheduled spring race race uh, for and and obviously we want to bring the Doge car back as uh, Nashville June 19th. So um, we're working on ways to to get it out there more. Um, our sport is very it's it's very sponsorship driven, uh, so. Um, like I don't compete in every race because I don't have uh, sponsorship to compete in every race, but we are working really hard to be able to, to get the Doge core out there more and be able to compete um, in more races than even we originally scheduled to. And this is kind of a side note, but one thing a lot of people don't realize is just how hard it is to drive a car in a race like that. If you're a NASCAR fan, you know, Right. But for people on the outside looking in, they see people driving a car. They don't understand the level of difficulty it takes to control a machine going that fast. 
And mm-hmm. I've done, I've done a few simulations of that. I've never actually driven a car that fast on a track. I imagine it's even harder a step up from the simulation, but the simulation itself that I did was already extremely difficult. So maybe talk a little bit about that. What is it like to be behind the wheel of something so massive going so fast? How much harder mm-hmm. is it than people think? Uh, it's tough. It's, it's one of the, I mean, it's, there, there's a reason why, I mean, honestly, the, the, the 40 best drivers are the 40 best drivers in the world, in my opinion, are doing it every weekend. Um, as you can see, even in Vegas, like, right. I, I spun out. I, 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 I lost control, spun out. Like, it's just, it's, it's hard. They're hard to drive. Um, and I've been racing for over 10 years now and it is still, it's difficult. And even now, even now too, with, with the COVID-19 pandemic, we don't have practice a lot of these races. So we just show up and race, no practice, nothing. So it's a big challenge as a driver to, uh, to, to, kind of just your first, your first laps on the racetrack are green flag race, racing conditions. Um, but yeah, it, you know, it's, it's tough. I, I'll burn, I mean, it's physically exerting too, you know, I'll burn anywhere from two to 3000 calories, uh, in a race in a, in a two and a half, three and a half hour race. So, um, it is a lot kind of, I guess it's a lot harder than, than people realize, but it's, I, I, I'm so in love with it. Like, I, I don't know what I would be doing if I weren't doing this. So it's, it's cool. Yeah, I feel the same way about YouTube. I, I just love not only the Dogecoin community, but just being able to have this opportunity. When you find something you love, do it and continue doing it. I know when you were four years old, you were dreaming of being a NASCAR driver. I'm sure you probably said that out loud. A lot of people don't think about this, but when you say a goal out loud, the chances of it coming true, I think go up significantly. So, I mean, definitely when you were a kid and when you were thinking about that, how does it compare what you were dreaming of compared to now? Is it what you expected? Is it just as fun or what's the difference between that? It's just, it's really, it's really gratifying. Honestly. Um, I've, I've actually, I've gotten the opportunity to race against some people that I grew up watching, you know, from the time I was two, three, all 10 years old, like I've gotten to race against Dale Earnhardt Jr. Kyle Busch. I mean, I've, I've, I've been really, really lucky to have get to get the opportunities I've, I've gotten. And I, I mean, yeah, ever since I can remember, this is what I wanted to do. So to be at be able to compete at a high level and uh, and do what I love, uh, just like you said about YouTube, like it is such a gratifying feeling that it's it's honestly kind of hard to put into words. Exactly. And it's so cool to not only see you doing that, but to see you also representing the Dogecoin community while doing that. It's combining two awesome things together. In, in NASCAR and Dogecoin. We did actually, I asked the people in the community to come up with some questions for you. And so mm-hmm. one of those questions is, what do you think about Tesla? Cause Elon Musk, we know he's a huge part of the Dogecoin community and he's just an awesome dude all around doing so many cool things for the world. Mm-hmm. So people wanted to know, what do you think about Tesla cars? What do you think about Tesla maybe making a NASCAR at some point in the future? Mm-hmm. Just kind of getting your thoughts on electric cars, Tesla, all that stuff. Yeah, so people people ask, you know, if we think, if you think we'll ever have, uh, I guess electric cars and NASCAR, and I, 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 we're we're moving towards kind of a hybridization type deal, um, kind of a, a hybrid of of a regular um, gas powered engine and kind of like electric hybrid motor, uh, kind of like Formula One and, and stuff does now. Um, I just I don't know if we'll ever be we'll ever have a fully electric car, um, but I know. I mean, like you said, Elon's doing so much, even more than Tesla, right? SpaceX. I mean, he does, he has a flamethrower, the boring company that just <laughs> makes flamethrowers just because he can. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Elon and what he does, but um, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know if we'll ever see Tesla in, uh, in NASCAR, but that sure would be cool. That would be awesome to see Stefan Parsons driving the Dogecoin Tesla NASCAR and then winning a race, that would, that would just be so cool. Obviously, that's kind of a bit of a, a pipe dream, I guess you could say, because <laughs> it would take so many things happening for that to, to happen. But mm-hmm. it's, it's cool nonetheless to dream about it and maybe hope for it. Another question that people were asking is, so do you think you'll be able to win a race in the Dogecoin car? Because obviously, people in the Dogecoin community want more publicity for Dogecoin. And if you want mm-hmm. a race, that would be huge. Obviously, so unbelievably difficult to win a NASCAR race, much less even come in the, in the top in the top five there. It's so difficult. Right. Do you think you'll be able to maybe do that? What are kind of your thoughts behind winning a race? Uh, well, well, that's the goal, right? You know, the goal from the time you're a little, from, from the time you're a kid is, is to be successful at, at whatever you want to do. Um, 
you know, our, the team I'm driving for now, BJ McLeod Motorsports, is, it's a similar situation to, um, to the, to, to my dad's team back when we ran Dogecoin 2014. Uh, we don't have the same funding as a lot of the bigger teams do. Um, we try to kind of, we try to outraise people that probably have more funding than we do. So there's a lot of variables that go into it. Obviously we're, we're trying to put everything we can to go out there and do the best we can. Um, but honestly, at this point, the, the Dogecoin community and, and spring rates and my other sponsor, SoCal, what they're doing is, is helping me get to the racetrack. You know what I mean? The publicity that, that the Dogecoin community and the support that they've given me is helping me uh, get to the racetrack on weekends that I probably wouldn't be racing at this point. Um, because like I said, it is very sponsorship driven. So to have that support and to have that kind of outreach of the community is, is monumental for, for me and our team and where we're at in our, in our kind of timelines and careers, you know? Right. And you're, you're just 22 now. So you're at the beginning, you're going to get obviously more experience. You're going to get better. And it's going to be cool to watch your career as it kind of unfolds. I think at some point in the future, we could absolutely see you win in some races. Hopefully even this year would be amazing. Obviously we're not going to expect anything like that because it's so difficult, but it would still be really cool. I know everyone in the Dogecoin community is not only rooting for you, but fully supporting you. Another question that someone had is what is the fastest speed that you have driven the Dogecoin NASCAR? And also what's the fastest speed you've ever driven at? Um, I'm, I, I don't know specifically. I'd say, I mean, I'd say at, at Las Vegas, which is where we ran the Doge quarter, we were probably, we were probably close to 185, 190. I'd say probably the fastest I've ever been is probably, probably around 200 miles an hour. Um, so we don't have, we don't have uh, speedometers in our car, in our cars. We just have uh, tachometers, which tell us engine RPM. So um, that's kind of a rough guesstimate, but anywhere from probably 190 to 200 is the fastest. And for those who don't know, that's unbelievably fast. I guess it doesn't sound, I mean, you drive 70 on the highway and that's really fast, right? Mm -hmm. But people don't, I don't think people really comprehend how much faster 200 is than 70, mm -hmm. unless you are a NASCAR fan or you go to a race. But a lot of people in the Dogecoin community, maybe not the biggest NASCAR fans, at least not yet. I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people will become bigger NASCAR fans, especially watching you. But a lot of people in the Dogecoin community maybe aren't as big on NASCAR as they are and just loving the whole Dogecoin part of it. Another right. one is uh, one person wanted to know if you were single. <laughs> <laughs> I am single. <laughs> <laughs> and so there, there we go. Stefan Parsons and Matt Wallace, or Stefan Parsons and Matt Wallace, both single right now. In case you, yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought that was a funny one. I had to include that in there. That's funny. And so yes, the, you talked about it a little bit. So the, when you spun out in the first race, what, what was kind of going through your head during that? Is that I know you probably that wasn't the ideal situation but at the same time it did get more publicity because anytime mm -hmm. something cool happens it gets more publicity so i think there's some mm -hmm. silver linings there and i know i know probably in the next race you're going to learn from that so what, what what kind of was going through your head when that was happening um well i was mad in the moment that it happened um <laughs> yeah. obviously you never want to spin out but um these like kind of back to your point of what we were talking about these cars are hard to drive i was uh I was side by side with a car and air, these people don't realize is how, how sensitive these cars are to air. So kind of what happened was I was inside of the car and, and we were tight together and another car kind of came on my left rear and it, it took air off of, uh, off of the spoiler and it just, it just, it spun out. So, um, yeah. And in my moment, I was upset at myself and the situation um, obviously looking back, I got really good publicity for, uh, for spring rates and for Dogecoin, but, um, yeah, it just owes to how difficult these cars are to drive. Honestly. It's, it's, it's not even just that you have to worry about the wind and you have to worry about the speed. You also have to worry about, like you said, the other cars. So it just adds an extra element to it. And I would encourage anyone there's museums where you can actually go do a simulation of driving in a NASCAR if you think it's easy or you think it's even close to easy, go try, just try a simulation of it and you will see mm -hmm. how unbelievably difficult it actually is. I know you've been, you've been going since 2015 racing cars. So you, you have a lot of experience under your belt and even still with that much experience, it's still difficult. And there's still obviously places you can improve even now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, 
I mean, you'll have people who have been racing for 20 or 30 years at, at the, not even period, but just at the highest level of NASCAR and they'll, you know, mistakes happen. They make mistakes. They spin out. Like it, it just owes, these cars are just hard to drive. There's a reason why only 40 people get to do it on Sundays and Saturdays. You know, that's just, it's, it's the, it's the top level of motorsports in America for sure. And so another question is, what do you think the chances are? Because obviously we want to see one of my catchphrases on this channel is I say Doge to the moon like that just in a fun <laughs> way. And we obviously we want to see Dogecoin go to the moon. What do you think the chances are that NASCAR at some point in the future may accept Dogecoin? Do you think there's something we could do to kind of push that along? Is it possible? What are your thoughts on that? I, I think I mean, I think we're on a good road now with with kind of how um how it's kind of renewed interest in NASCAR and the Dogecoin community uh, through, through what we've been doing this year. I think, I really think that we've gotten more fans involved. We've got more fans that necessarily wouldn't have been even had an intention on NASCAR uh, through Dogecoin. So I think if, if we get, I think anything's possible. I mean, you look at uh, Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks, they started accepting uh, Dogecoin, right? So I think, uh, I think anything's possible. I think, um, I think Dogecoin is continuing to grow in popularity and, and grow in, in the price of, of Dogecoin. So I, uh, I certainly think it's possible. I certainly hope so. And so with, with, with the Dallas Mavericks, they use BitPay to accept it. So if you're a company out there, you're watching this, we would love for you to start using BitPay to accept Dogecoin, maybe other cryptocurrencies too. Cryptocurrency is the currency of the future. And we want Dogecoin to be one of those top ones being used. So if you're a company getting ahead on that, you could potentially be a great opportunity to not only get publicity, but also other mm. stuff on top of that. So definitely if you're a company and you're watching this, reach out to me and maybe we can get that set up. Then I also, I did have a few silly questions as well. The first one is, so race car spelled backwards is also race car. Clearly the Illuminati is behind that, right? I mean, what's, what's your <laughs> thoughts on that? <laughs> I, uh, you know what those cars spelled backwards is, right? I, I haven't even, what is it spelled backwards? Race God. Oh, right, right. I knew that because Elon, yeah. Elon also tweeted E-God spelled backwards. It's funny. It's funny when you look at words spelled backwards, you always see funny stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it works out. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right. Then the other one is, so we have the Dogecoin car. Let's say someone does a fiat currency car. And so you see you're driving on the track. The fiat currency car pulls up and it's a Russian dude. He says, Hey, hey, Stefan, you trying to beat me? Fiat currency with a Dogecoin? What are you going to do? I'm going to destroy you. How, how do you respond? <laughs> what, what's, kind of, what's kind of your response to that? We're going to use our laser beams and we're going to shoot them off the racetrack. <laughs> it ain't going to be a problem. There, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just pull out the laser eyes. The, of course, it's a Dogecoin car. It has, it has to have laser eyes on it. So there we yeah. go. That, that's, that's definitely the right solution there. <laughs> And I, I think one other thing that a lot of people should think about is the fact that you're going to have more races with the Dogecoin car too. So it's not even, it's not even done yet. There's going to be more times to watch you more fun things going on in the future. Are you excited about those races? How, what are your thoughts right now on the future and, and what's going to happen with that? Where do you see yourself in maybe five years from now? Uh, hopefully in five years, I'm, I'm competing every weekend and, and competing in the, uh, in the cup series in the top level of NASCAR. Um, but right now we're, we're just, we're really trying to maximize what we can uh, this year. As far as schedule goes, we're trying to get more races. We're trying to um, bring more publicity towards, towards Dogecoin. And um, we're working on some merchandise right now. We've got a uh, die cast that you can, that you can pre-order of the Doge car. So uh, we've got a lot of things in the work to works for the for the for Dogecoin and Dogecoin community to 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 keep the support up for the Doge car. Yeah, it's awesome to see all the stuff coming together. Make sure though, when you do become one of the top car drivers and NASCAR drivers in the world, make sure to remember the Dogecoin community and maybe throw a few <laughs> Doge bones out there. I know you will. I know you will. But just I thought yeah. I would say that just just to kind of bring it up. But anyway, it was it was so cool to talk to you and get all your thoughts on this. Do you have any messages you want to give to the community before we, before we finish up this interview here? Yeah, I'm just absolutely ecstatic and thankful for all support that, they, that the whole community has, has given us over the past month. And um, it's not over, you know, we're, 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 try, we're going all the way to the moon. So, uh, so stay tuned. We're, we'll have some more stuff out soon as far as merchandise and, and die casts and, and schedules and more races and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, just thank you.
Yeah, of course. And to the moon, we, we got, we got to keep, we got to keep that same energy. Keep, keep up the fun.